defense taking over for their next possession. And with a 14-3 advantage already, we'll see how much they want to try to push things, if at all. And he's got Rome. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He's on his way. Alan Lazard. And he's in for the touchdown. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, Stadium. Scott on the return out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And this will be a game. Landed right in his lap. Meanwhile, Fields throw complete there to St. Brown. And I think this is a problem we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Now it's Fields. Rodgers now to throw. And he's got it. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so. Either. And oh, it'll be intercepted. 